Medication safety issues affect us all. One in every 18 hospital stays in Canada is impacted by patient harm, and up to 37% of this harm is associated with events that involve medications. Medication errors pose severe life-threatening risks to Canadian patients. They also pose a cost burden to Canadian taxpayers as well as health ministries. The medication use process is complex and prone to risks. Current practices for preparing, dispensing, and administering medications can all lead to error, especially for high alert medications. Errors can occur at every stage of the medication use process. Research has shown that as many as 11 latent errors can occur when preparing and dispensing chemotherapy drugs. These errors can lead to catastrophic adverse events for patients while exposing healthcare workers to unsafe levels of these hazardous drugs. Access to controlled substances can also lead to substance use disorder among healthcare workers. When it comes to medication administration, Canadian patients are prone to vascular access complications such as infections and occlusions at access points. In the hospital setting, standards, practices, and automated tools help to protect patients and providers from errors unintended exposure, as well as unsecured access to controlled substances such as opioids. Quality healthcare is a team effort. In partnership with these stakeholders, we can educate Canadians about the root causes of medication errors, collaborate with the healthcare community to advocate for long-term sustainable guidelines and standards that address system vulnerabilities, and implement evidence-based system-level solutions to reduce the risk of errors. Medication safety requires a multifaceted approach that involves government, administrators, clinicians, and industry working together to improve outcomes. BD develops the right tools and systems from procurement and prescribing to preparation and administration. BD is committed to working with governments, their partners, and our customers to help protect patients and healthcare workers through education, advocacy, and the implementation of solutions.